chingado! ¡Ay, 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 qué rico! ¡Ay! 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 The girl from Camp Omerada? Uh, all right. A gentleman never tells, but she was a most wonderful... Uh, I just say she was increíble. Yes. Let me tell you something. I strongly recommend her. You take her when you have the chance, my brother. She thinks she's your wife. <laughs> my wife? These peasant girls, they believe every word a fellow says. So naive. It's really quite charming. I love peasants. No, you love peasants? I love them. They have such purity. Are you gonna marry her? Ha! Marry a peasant? My dear boy, don't be absurd. I'm going to be the next president of Mexico. My wife will meet ambassadors, kings, other great men. The very thought that I would marry some peasant girl with a tight gun and the hands of a farmer. Well, I really don't think so. My mother... Que Dios la cuide, we're turning her grave. Interesting. Mm. But come on, let's run. I've got an amazing present for you, my brother, huh? Yes? The man you seek. Together, we will bring them to justice. Let's go. <laughs> come on, mi hermano. This is the day we have both been waiting for. Bien, vamos hermanos. My brother, I just received word of your fight with Allende's men at El Sepulcro. Finally, the Santa is dead. I am happy it was your bullet, John, after what he did to you in Chuparosa. I wasn't gonna give him a second chance to kill me. He must have felt good. Not particularly. He was hardly worth a bullet. Where are they, Abraham? They are at El Presidio, John. Can you believe it? The place we first met, the scene of one of my greatest victories over Allende's traitors. You could not write a better story. It's a story I want to finish. It is a story we both want to finish, my brother. If my rebels can take El Presidio, then we can move on Escalera. The revolution is happening, John. Are you sure they're there? Escuela and Williamson? Javier Escuela is there. That much I am sure of. I don't know about Williamson. The square I'll do for now. I am told they paid Allende to hide them. They have been in his protection since you arrived in Mexico. You see, you should have trusted your brother out of hand all along. When we have him, then you can start making me feel bad. Immediately after you thank me for everything I've done for you, amigo. I knew I had heard the name Javier Escuella before. He is from this province. They tell me he was once a notorious bounty hunter and also one of the early revolutionaries. That sounds about right. All before my rebellious surges took hold, of course. <laughs> I think I was still traveling in Europe at the time. I was living in Madrid with the ambassador's wife. That sounds about right as well. Escuela was always a torn man. A cynic who desperately wanted to be a romantic. Whereas you, John, are a romantic who wants to be a cynic. Javier would die fighting for what he believed in. He had a lot of passion, but no love. Although he really admired Dutch, of course. But then we all did. He was the leader of your little group of fortune hunters, right? When Dutch started falling apart, it hit Javier harder than any of them. He went crazy. It was like the one thing he never believed in turned out to be a fraud. You talk about him fondly. It ain't exactly fondness. We was close once, but he never cared for me or anybody else. Not any of his so-called brothers. He left me to die when he had a chance to save me. And didn't he teach you any Spanish during all this time you were together? I remember cabron being used a lot. Well, now you get to pay that cabron a surprise visit. 
I ain't here for revenge. I just need him and Williams. So who was that girl back there? Another loyal supporter of free Mexico. What? You want a name? You can't even remember the name of the girl you're married. Have you ever known Power Jump? I'm a semi-literate farmer and hired killer. I ain't in the power game. Then you will never have the knowledge that any woman will bear your child. And for her, it will be an honor. I've known about enough bastards without making too many more of my own. A man like me cannot be with just one woman. It would be an injustice to the people I have devoted my life to serving. You have an interesting way of serving the people. Kind of like a national gigolo. I owe it to the future of Mexico to breed, my brother. If I can get noble blood flowing through the veins of peasants, can you imagine how great this country can be? An army of reyes, of kings. I wish I'd never asked. It ain't exactly been a vacation. Why are you talking like this is already over? I don't know. One way or another, this might be the end. What do you think of the Mexican people? I ain't sure. Some of them been kind, but a lot of them tried to kill me. Come, my brother. I know what you Americans call us. Greasers, sun greeners, pepper guts. For a land of immigrants, you don't like foreigners very much. I don't care who a man is, what he does or where he's from. If he treats me right, I'll do the same. It's that simple for you, isn't it? You would make a fine socialist. What about the Chinese workers here? I hear you ain't exactly made them very welcome. That is different. They are an inferior race. You have all the makings of a great leader, Abraham. The revolution is gaining momentum. Do you have any idea how many times I've thought about the day I will march into Escalera and storm Allende's mansion? I think I have some idea. Soon it will be me sleeping on those silk sheets and the colonel lying with the cucarachas. From what I've seen of Allende, you might want to wash those sheets. <laughs> you might be right, my friend. Do you really think a revolution can work? Do you have enough men? Revolution begins with one person, John. One person ain't gonna defeat the Mexican army. The poor are many and together we are strong. They are ready to fight. If it does work... It will. If it does work, and you take down Alinde, what then? I will give the greatest speech of my life. But after all the fighting and all the speeches are over, what will you do? I will march on the capital and take on Sanchez himself. All right, when Mexico's yours, and you have all the power you desire, what will you do with it? Like any great leader, my brother, I will delegate. I have to say, I am not usually in favor of American interference, but it will be sad to see you go. I ain't going nowhere till I have Bill Williams. What will you do when this is over? I want to go home, work my land, and grow old with my wife. That is hard for me to imagine. It's hard for me too, but I've pulled this trigger too many times now. I'm getting tired. Well, get ready to pull it a few more times. El Presidio will be heavily guarded. Oh, I think I got a few more left in me. Maybe one day you can return to Mexico like Lando Ricketts. A famous outlaw come to die in the sunshine. I can always use a cynical American renegade on my staff. I'll bear that in mind. Allow me some silence on the journey. I have the weight of a nation on my shoulders.
my men will launch a ruse attack on the side entrance to the fort. Meanwhile, you, my American friend, will drive this wagon at the front gate and jump off when you're close. It's been packed with five crates of TNT. That sounds crazy. How long's the fuse? <laughs> yes, like I say, fun times. It's plenty long enough, I think. I see you in there, amigo. Go on, John. You can do this. friend. It's been a long time. <laughs> Hello, brother. It's uh, good to see you. I heard you was coming. You took your time, no? Come on, you're not gonna shoot your own brother, are you? We was family. Yeah, we were. Then you and Dutch went crazy and family didn't mean so much. <laughs> so now you do the government's work. And what do you do? You just work for a different government. <laughs> Come on, brother. I think we should go our separate ways, huh? What you and Dutch did was wrong. And the way you left me was wrong. 
Now, I hate to judge, but as it turns out, it's you or me. The way I see it, might as well be you. We thought you was dead, brother. I promise. I'm telling the truth. Besides, I can give you Bill. In Dodge, Dodge is in Colombia. I can take you straight to him. Hmm? If you left me to die whoa. to save your own skin, and now <laughs> you expect me to care whoa, about whoa, you? You got it all wrong, brother. I've always loved you. Even now. Who's I go fisting with now, huh? <laughs> You now. I'm taking you in, my brother. I'll let the others judge it. Where's Bill? I don't know. Where's Bill, you son of a bitch? Do you think I won't kill you, brother? He ain't here, brother. He's with agenda. <laughs> it's a little late for revenge, John. I ain't here to kill you, Javier. This is just business. You comfortable there? Come on, amigo. Abigail wouldn't want this. Abigail would have killed you already. She always thought she was a creep. We was family, brother. You and me. Like Cain and Abel, I guess. Leaving each other for dead. I don't understand what happened. It wasn't like you thought it was. Whatever you say, old friend. It was Beal, not me. Yeah, and he's next. You're gonna be locked up for a hell of a long time. Unless they choose to hang you. Put him in the cell for now, John. Together. Two crazy men sharing a bed. Go to hell! Oh, you piece of shit. Don't be sure about what you're doing, brother. You saw me out. Didn't that life we had mean nothing to you? Oh! Ah, oh, you puto. Oh. One day, one day I promise you, you're gonna regret this. One day's about all you got left. Oh. I hope you and your wife and children rot in hell. You know that life we lived is over. And when we was living it, it didn't mean nothing anyway. It was just an excuse, and we all knew. What I knew is that you was always a puto. And you're still a puto. Marston, come with me. The army sent reinforcements. Come. Yeah, go with your puto. <laughs> the army is coming. Get up there and man that cannon. They're still coming.
should have run away. We did it, my brother. El Presidio is ours. Two old friends reunited. It is a beautiful thing. Mr. Marston, fancy seeing you down here. I must say it's a pleasant surprise to see you. You've done well, Mr. Marston. Now, Javier here gets to see how far the hand of justice can reach. <laughs> Come on, you. Get in the damn automobile. Can we assume one of my commitments is cleared? Unfortunately, Nothing is clear, John, until your obligations are met. We need you to find Williamson, then head to Blackwater as quick as you can. We have reason to believe that Dutch Vanderland is in the area. Oh, your wife sends her regards. <laughs> That's good. 